Now at the plate, here is Mickey McDonald. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Mickey McDonald. Here's the first pitch. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch today is taken for strike one. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch down the third baseline. Uh, this will wind up foul. Still 0-2. Swinging a soft liner. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. So now to the play, Tyler Ramirez. Center fielder giving chase. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. McDonald rounds the corner and is headed home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. In now, Chase Calibwig. So far this season, with runners in scoring position, Calibwig is hitting exactly 200. Not really what you'd call a point of pride for him. Yeah, Matty, he's well aware of it. Runners in scoring position, that's where you need to be on your game. He's just expanded the zone entirely too much in these situations. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute down, it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. He'll swing and lift the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's set. Here's the 0-1. And here's a foul tip into the catcher's glove. Moves it to 0-2 now. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield. Get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. I got it. I got it. And this is taken in shy of the wall, but that should be plenty deep to score the run. Now with the plate is Mikey White. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. No balls and one strike. He chased out of his own there and he's down two strikes. This is a perfect time for him to break out that nasty chain. A swing and a miss. That retires the side and that will do it. will be Kai Tom and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for strike one to start the at bat lifted the other way down the left field line left fielder giving chase he gets there and makes the play for the first out striding in is Colin Thoreau here's the first pitch to him there's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Ben Gelman stepping in now. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. No balls and a strike to count. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they go away here. It's a cold strike. Nothing in two. So two pitches in a row on the outside corner for strikes. I think thought we'll have to press pause. Is that strike three to retire the side? And now here is Ray Holden. The shortstop. Ray Holden. First offering. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. And it's two balls and two strikes now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first Mickey. down. The pitch. Mickey McDonald will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. 
What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have nope. to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Count is one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway. And standing in is the DH, Chase Calabwig. In there, strike one. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Benedetti moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Edwin Diaz. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. He's got it. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. Now at the plate, Mikey White struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. The 1-2. Nope, up there. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Kai Tom. And this will be fouled away. Here comes the 0 1. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now here's the pitch. Colin Thoreau comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Behind 0-2 now. A little bit off the outside. It's 1-2. and two. A Bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. And that's the second out. Digging in will be Ben Gelman. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Hit down the line at first. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Into the windup and the pitch. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Stepping up is Ray Holden. Here's the first pitch. Pitch is popped up. And this is taken in for out number one. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Mickey McDonald. He bounced out last time up. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes 
moist like it is right now, so the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Tyler Ramirez stands in as he looks at a called strike. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So here is Chase Calabwig. He'll start the seventh in what's been a fast-moving pitcher's duel today. Try to check it in its own one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. No balls, two strikes. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Right side, but it's well fouled. And a good two strike pitch, but he misses high one and, one and two. two. Basic pitching right there. 0 2 fastball up and out of the zone. Change the eye level. Now, time to go to that curveball down and away. McKenna is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Edwin Diaz, grounded out in his last at bat. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Come on, guys. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Pitch on the way. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. First offering on its way. Mikey White is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. And, and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0-2. Not a bad oh, pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. That and he lays off two. it to even the count two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. Rene Blanco has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 90. Wow, that game flew by, but that's what happens when you get a well-pitched one-run game. Both hurlers battled, and it's almost a shame somebody had to lose this one. A single run good enough to do it today. one nothing. the final score. Midland earned the victory despite only collecting four total hits. Dalton Jeffries earns his fifth winner of the year. Andrew Walker struck out 10 in the losing effort. Eric Ramirez earns the save out of the bullpen, his eighth of the season.